Hey everybody, Tony D, little Joan here with a hot take about the president. Ugh. Joe Biden, this doddering old man in his town hall from last night. It was in Milwaukee. Great town. Used to go there for Gen Con back when it was held there. Only really had one really great restaurant that I got to go to. I'm sure there are more, but uh, the Spy House, it's, it's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, they don't do Gen Con there anymore. Now you gotta host this guy. Uh, here's so here's just a little bit of the highlights. I don't know if you saw this already. I just want to comment on it. Uh, take it easy. That's the president. Can't bark at the president, doggy. Okay. You could just bark at all of his horrible, horrible policies, right? All right, good girl. You wanna sit over here? Here, warm me up. Okay. Uh, Biden claims during CNN town hall that there was no vaccine when he came into office, while he himself has received the first dose back in 2020. And on Trump's last day in office, the U.S. performed over a million vaccinations. Yeah, and that was typical Biden. <laughs> Just taking credit for somebody else's work. Um, he, I don't know if he intended to do that, if that was like, oh, I'm going to say this on purpose, or if that was just... Uh, Biden making a slip of the tongue. Either way, does it really matter? He's not correcting himself, uh, nor do I expect him to. Outside, BLM and socialist activists are hosting a Joe Biden hate fest outside the Paps Theater Town Hall. I don't think they're socialists, <laughs> but uh, they're probably Antifa. Let's see what they're doing out here. Uh cold i'll tell you that milwaukee is a cold place even on the best of times and the war on black america uh i guess i mean I, I i don't know i didn't know there was a war against black america black lives matter there you go i mean now like really this group looks <laughs> this group looks i mean i'm glad you're being peaceful Actual peaceful. I don't know why this guy's calling him a hate fest if they're peaceful. Who is this guy? We promote Mythinform, M-K-E. We pr promote viewpoint diversity to limit the effects of authoritarian ideology. We host heterodox dialogue events. MythCon, Minds IRL. Oh, okay. These are the MythCon guys. Interesting. Um, I guess it was a hate fest. I mean... I don't like uh, Biden either, but uh, I like socialists even less. Um, this was from the town hall. A woman asked, uh, what about canceling 50000 worth of uh, student debt instead of just 10000 Will you make that happen, she asked. And he went, I will not make that happen. And that was the most lucid moment I've seen Biden had in a long, long time. I mean, they just flat out asked him for money, and he was like, nah, that's not happening. Here you go, Get nice and comfy, okay? Um, but this was the big deal. And this is just disgraceful. Biden dismisses China Uyghur genocide as difference in, quote, cultural norms. He actually said this. I know, Joan. It's very upsetting. Joe Biden, this is from Summit News, Joe Biden refused to denounce China's Uyghur genocide during a CNN appearance last night, asserting that the communist country's systematic oppression of minorities was just a different cultural norm. Yes, really. Despite the Trump administration and his own characterizing Beijing's treatment of Uyghur Muslims as genocide, Biden furiously backpedaled after he was asked about the issue. Quote, if you know anything about Chinese history, it has always been the time when China has been victimized by the outer world is when they haven't been unified at home, said Biden, going on to say that President Xi Jinping is aiming to achieve a, quote, tightly controlled China. This is how he responds to concentration camps. This is how he responds. How many stacks did the Chinese pay you, Joe? As uh, they say on the Lotus Eater, they call him Two Stacks Biden. Uh, quote, I'm not going to speak out against what he's doing in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Guess you're against freedom then. 
uh, what he's doing with the Uyghurs in the western mountains of China. Okay, I guess you I guess you're pro genocide now. Is that the deal? Culturally, there are different norms that each country and their leaders are expected to follow. He added, "This is disgraceful. This alone disqualifies Biden for being president. He should be impeached. I don't know what they could impeach him on. Again, it's a political process. So, uh, but the Democrats have no shame. They have no shame. They'll support this. Most of them will." I haven't heard any of them really speak out against it. Culturally, there are different norms. Oh, some in some countries, they just kill a race of people. Just kill them. Who are we to question it? I mean, I wouldn't expect him to start drone bombing China, but Jesus Christ, Joe, speak up. Oh, that's right. They own you. We know they own you because of your son's laptop. Your drug addict, hooker-banging son's laptop that he probably forgot about at that repair shop. We have the emails. They've been confirmed. You're the big guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the emails are pretty clear. Was it worth it? Was it worth that money? You know, you 80-year-old or close to 80 year old fart who's who's gonna die in a few years anyway was it worth it was it worth all that money two stacks not even that much money you don't have a tenth of the money Donald Trump has not a tenth he could buy and sell you and I wish he had I wish Trump had just said I'll give you 30 million dollars to lose the race and just walk away but we all know you got bigger plans, right? Shifty Joe, two stacks Biden. Oh, you're smarter than the Chinese. See, you can take that bribe and not have it impact anything, right? You can take money from China and laugh at them because you're so smart, because you're so in control, because they wouldn't dare raise a hand against you, except that's all they do, except they don't do it through the military. They're not stupid. They're looking a hundred years down the road. They're going to run the planet. And each year they get a little closer and a little closer and a little closer. And you, you doddering old fool, don't do anything about it because you're too busy trying to show everybody, oh, I'm doing the exact opposite of Donald Trump, everyone. Oh, they're not so bad. Of course, they're not so bad to you when they hand you millions of dollars. I guess they're not that bad. What will the Bidens be worth after your president? They went from $300,000 to $16 million. I can only imagine it's going to be in the hundreds of millions. Is it really that worth it? I mean, you were vice president for eight years. You didn't have to do anything. You got to live in the greatest building in the country and do whatever you want with round-the-clock protection. How much more money and power do you need, you greedy old effer? This is just... It's just beyond. They're murdering people. They're murdering them. The Uyghur camps are doing things that are so despicable, I can't even say it on YouTube. What they're doing to women is, it's unspeakable. It's just unspeakable. Yeah, they're doing that. Think of the worst thing in the world. They're doing it. Yep. Forcibly to women. Um, and there's nothing they can do to stop it. But at least they know that Joe Biden thinks that's a cultural norm in China. That torture and concentration camps. Well, that's just their society. That's just a cultural norm. Oh, that's fine for them. Chinese must enjoy that sort of thing. We can't, who are we to interfere? You know, we've got our own problems here. We've got to root out a bunch of imaginary racists that don't exist in every corner of society. Those people we need to punish. Oh, the Chinese, 
They're only murdering people and harvesting their organs. That's all. I mean, that's their country. Huh. It's funny that that doesn't go the same for Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, or any of the other places I'm sure you'll invade or reinvade in the coming years. It's funny how they don't get their cultural norms. It's funny how you have to invade them. Oh, but China? Oh, they're good guys. It's just different cultural norms. Murder. Harvesting organs. Forcibly doing things to women. I couldn't be more ashamed of this guy. He should... I know he won't, but he should just resign in disgrace. And um, I don't even think he could take this back and recover from it, quite frankly. And the media is just as disgraceful for not calling it out. Imagine, imagine the outcry if that had been Trump. Imagine it, just for a second, how the media would play that, how they would scream reach and suddenly be very anti-China if Trump was suddenly all pro-China and ignoring their human rights violations that are just absurdly obscene. It's a double standard. Double standard. Uh, if you want to see any of these videos, one's on Summit, the rest are on Twitter. But I, I don't know how much more you need to see from Biden. I mean, this is as low as you can go. Ignoring genocide. Can't can't go much lower than that, I guess. Um, I, I, I guess I'll try to in the coming weeks and months. But I have zero respect for Joe Biden. Zero. He, uh, you know, for all the wackiness that Trump brought, it doesn't compare to anything like this. It's just shameful.